All right, hi. My name is Robert Doyle, and I'm going to give you a quick tutorial on how to use uh, the Cisco Netacad site. Uh, you will be using uh, the Netacad site uh, for multiple courses uh, throughout uh, uh, your CIT journey. So the first thing you want to do is go up and, and you want to go to uh, the Netacad site, which is actually Netacad, N-E-T-A-C-A-D dot com, and come over here to login and log in and all your login information you should uh, uh, you will get provided uh, from your instructor through Cisco so you would want to put in your email address and the password is going to be the one that you create within your profile and for those of you that have selected uh, 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 what is what is it multi-factor authentication you will have to authenticate using another device and in my case I do and the one thing you want to remember is these codes change every 30 seconds so you need to make sure that you type it in as quickly as you can uh, to get into the site so when you get into the site you will see something that kind of looks like this little blocks uh, and you'll see your course and I'll just pick one randomly that way we can just go to but all the courses will all react the same uh, for what you do so launch the course And when you come in, I'm going to switch my view to student, so I see the same thing you see. So when you come in, the screens may look a little different, but uh, they will have uh, 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 the basic fundamental layouts on here. So whenever I create a course, I always put uh, uh, the PowerPoint lessons in here. And then, of course, uh, when you need to take a quiz, you'll see the quiz here on, on the bottom of each chapter. They also have these uh, concept and terms and practices. What these are are simulations that you can follow to help you with the with the course and you and you can choose from multiple types of uh, training you can do matching learning flashcards and spelling depending on uh, uh, what what actually best serves your teaching ability and we'll go back to it and I also provide well, like a link to the support files and uh, the support files are all the files that you have within uh, the curriculum. Now remember, uh, when you do your assignments, uh, they will only select some of these files, uh, so make sure that uh, you look at uh, whatever uh, chapter you're on and, and you sh should only do what they have selected for you to do. You don't necessarily have to do all of these unless you really want to. Now that being said, not all the courses will have that, so the way you would find that is you would go into uh, the course here, you would read the course, and you pick a background you want, something nice, I guess. And so when you go into here, uh, down here you have multiple icons. Uh, the very first one is going to be the recent pages. And this will be all the recent pages that you have visited. And you can go back and visit them anytime you want. Uh, the bookmark feature, as you go through the curriculum, you can actually bookmark things that are important to you. And you can put them in here for preview. And, and actually we'll do this in a little bit. Course content is actually the course content all laid out by index over here on the side. You can look at the packet tracers, the labs, and even have all, all the live videos that you can watch. And the search is actually um, the search is actually my favorite. You can actually type in here something and it will find it throughout the whole course. So if there's a term you want to find or use, you can type it in here and it'll take you right to it and chapter and also section. And then of course you have the language and select background and the help. So what you would do is you would actually navigate here. If you click on this transcript one, it will switch everything to transcript instead of uh, graphic and pictures. Here's where you would actually bookmark pages. So if you click this bookmark page, it will show up in your bookmarks down here and here's where you navigate. So as you go through, you'll see the presentation here and when you click on transcript see if you notice uh, the pictures disappear and only the text remains now this is really good this is really good if you're doing this on your mobile device because then you don't have to worry about actually downloading all the graphics that's good to know and then you would go through read uh, read the curriculum watch the graphics and as you go through you will see different types of uh, graphics on the side talks about sensors 
here's where you would have multiple figures to go through. Uh, scroll up and down, keep going through controllers, and then every once in a while you will get uh, what are called a, a, these little like assessments. And here's where you would actually drag and drop things into it. Uh, your instructor, uh, they may have you uh, complete these. Once you complete these, all you have to do is actually take a screenshot of this and you would submit it to your assignment. As you keep going through the assignment, you get other processes. And then uh, remember uh, where we had all the labs and everything earlier, those labs you can actually find as you go through the curriculum, you can find them like here's one. So all the labs that I showed you earlier are actually built into the curriculum. You would just have to find them. I just provide a quick link to all of them. That way you, you, know, you can jump to them if you wish to. Now if we click on the bookmark here, if we come here to bookmarks now, uh, we just bookmark that page. So anything of importance you can bookmark. And just, just keep going through and then uh, the quiz is that theme. When you're done with it, you could just close the page. Oh, and then here would be your recent uh, pages that you visited. So here's everything we visited. You can go back to them immediately. It's kind of nice to be able to do that and and so on. When you're done, you would just come back here and yeah, you know, I guess so these are the PowerPoint slides that would be presented in class to you by your instructor and you can review them too. And here's your quizzes. And when you're done, always make sure to log out of the system. And you may have to turn on uh, your pop-ups for this to happen, but this way uh, you would be guaranteed uh, that you get out of the system uh, with no problem at all and you're totally logged out on it. And that's pretty much it. If you have any questions, please let your instructor know. And uh, I look forward to actually teaching you uh, with future classes. And thank you.